To start a new drawing, click this drop down arrow, hover over new, click drawing, and select Akadiso 3D for metric units and click open. And work on parallel projection. Bring your drawing to front view. And start with line. So type L for line command. You can click anywhere on the screen and bring your cursor upward for 22.5. Which is from this point up to this point. Coming from the center of the bore. And from this point to this point. So this is the intersection. So L for line. Click the endpoint and move to your left or to your right rather and enter 22.5. And the diameter of the bore is 15. So we, we're going to draw a circle. So type C for circle command, enter. Click this uh, corner. Type D for diameter option and enter 15. I'm going to move this circle. From quadrant to quadrant, type TR for trim command, enter twice, and click here, and remove this one and this one. Join the segments by typing J for join command, and select the objects. C for circle, endpoint. And enter D for diameter option and enter 15. And the thickness for this elbow is 3.75. So type O for offset command and enter 3.75. Click the circle and click outside the circle. Go to the ribbon, click this drop down arrow and select sweep command. Select these two circles. Enter and select the path. And the depth of the socket is uh, 10. So I'm going to draw a line, hover over and click once that uh, circle icon comes out. Click from the center and enter one unit to your right. Oh no, 10 units. And same process here. 10 units downward. And the diameter of the bore of the socket is uh, 21.7. So I'm going to draw a circle. C for circle command. Click the endpoint. Type D for diameter option and enter 21.7. And the thickness for this is 4.10. So I'm going to use offset command. So O for offset. Enter. And enter 4.10. Select this object and click outside the object. Copy these two circles from center to endpoint. You sweep command again. Select the two circles. Enter and select the path. Right click to, to repeat sweep command. Select the circles. Enter and select the path. I'm going to change this to 2D wireframe. I'm going to draw this section here. Before we proceed, make sure your dynamic input is on. Polar tracking, object snap tracking, object snap, selection cycling, and 3D object snap. And um, right click here. Click tracking setting and make sure you enter 45 degrees for the increment angle and click OK. Type L for line command and um, click the quadrant here. 
follow that uh, white dash line and click somewhere here and offset so o for offset command and enter 4.10 which is this one here click this uh, line and click here draw another line from the quadrant here upward extend this line by typing ex for extend command click this boundary enter and click this one type tr for trim command remove this one and um, draw another line from in point to in point and to intersection trim enter twice remove this one now I'm gonna remove that now join the segments by typing J for join command click this line this line and this line and uh, that line now it's one object I'm gonna change this to shaded with edges and use revolve command click this drop down arrow and select revolve select this object enter and specify axis start point which is from the center of this um, I'm gonna show you from the center here and bring it and bring it upward just follow that um, dash line click and enter 360 degrees copy this one move it here rotate I'm just gonna bring this to front view type RO for rotate or you can use this one here rotate for 90 degrees move click the quadrant shift right click and select quadrant click that quadrant and attach to the quadrant here so shift right click select quadrant now combine the objects so use union command from the ribbon under solid editing panel click this one this one this one this object and this object now you subtract command from the ribbon click the object you want to keep right click and select the objects you want to remove this one here and this one enter and there's another one inside so subtract command from the ribbon select the object you want to keep right click enter and then select that object I think we are done I'm just gonna copy this one move not move copy bring this drawing to top view I'm gonna use slice command under solid editing panel or inside solid editing panel hover over see that circle sign so it means uh, or you can use this quadrant click and then move your cursor to the left and click here and specify a point on desired side so we'll click this side uh, I'm gonna apply materials but change this first to realistic type materials and under or inside the Autodesk library click this drop down arrow and select metallic paint I'm just gonna use uh, reflective beige use this one apply this one and here and go to visualize I'm just gonna adjust the lights the exposure there you go maybe apply fillet edge so click this one go down to the command prompt 
click radius option and enter 0.5 select this edge this one edge here this one and enter twice now we're done thank you for watching please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications see you again have a good day